All right, guys. So out mowing grass and grass got up a little high, and uh, I was trying to got everything mowed, and I was trying to spread the grass clippings out a little bit, and belt snapped on me. I figure you all remember when the video where I was fixing this up a few months ago. I said that belt probably wouldn't last very long. Uh, let's look at it in the light. As you can see, it had a few wear spots anyway, so it wasn't going to last much longer. I uh, just decided to snap. I do have the, the new one here. Uh, let me show you the part number right here. It's the deck spindle belt. There's the part number for the other belts for a toy belt Bronco. This would also be identical on a Pony and several other toy belt models, but this is a this is what we have. This is a 42 inch mower deck. And just a little tip I'll share. Don't get the standard cheapest, uh, the standard black rubber belt you can find. Now you want to get something that's Kevlar. It's got the wrapping on it. It's going to last a lot longer. The regular, this probably looked like it originally, or it probably was gray. It just looks black now. They all look like this with age, but they just don't hold up as long. So you definitely want a good quality belt. And a quick word of safety I'll put in on the beginning of this video. Uh, you don't, you definitely want to do this with the engine off and uh, cool down too. Like if it broke while you're cutting grass and you wait 20, 30 minutes before you start working on it, just let the pulleys and everything cool down before you start working on it. Unhook the uh, terminal in your battery just to prevent the engine from starting. That way, no way there's no possible way of the belt can engage or anything. Uh, if you want to, as an extra precaution, take the Spark plug wire off, this way there's no possible way it can start. And just use a general safety on anything like this. You, know, you don't want to get hurt or anything. So obviously the belt's already off, so that's one step uh, I can't help you with in this video. But, um, so to put it back on, but the easiest thing to do is take these belt guards off. You get uh, two bolts to hold them on, there'll be one on each side. It'll just make things a lot easier to get to. You do not have to take the front belt guard off on this motor. Some motors you will, just they're all different. I apologize for any sloppy camera work on this. Uh, it's also a good time to check your pulleys. This is moving because the brackets got play in. The other one is good, I already checked it. So this is the type that this first pulley will move when you engage it to put tension on the belt like that. Yeah, let's just get started on the belt. Loosen the half inch drive bolt here, take it out. There's no nut into it, it's just a sheet metal screw. Take them out. There's two screws on this side. And there's actually two screws on this side. You missed that first. Take them out and this belt bar is coming right off. Just like that. It gives you complete access to your pulley. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. So now we got access to the pulley and on the other side. Alright, so I got my fancy little light that I can change the colors of to adjust the tone and everything I hardly ever use. This video is going to be kind of hard to do because it's almost impossible to show you like every single step of the way. And I'll show you a diagram too of how everything goes the way you can kind of see like a vertical shot of it, like an aerial view of it. Alright, so I'm going to kind of speed it through to the other side over top of all the pulleys. This one's going to go over on the inside of this one. And you're going to kind of have to keep working the uh, engagement lever back and forth at certain times to be able to get the belt past the uh, blade brakes and everything. You kind of get it in place. There's actually a buffer on this pulley. And you can kind of usually have to bend it out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see this bracket right here? This keeps the belt from popping off the outer pulley. And you have to bend this out in order to gain access to it. You're just gonna wanna you're just gonna wanna pry on it like this. In order to bend it out just enough to get the belt through it like that. Okay, now it's on there. This it goes around this side of the pulley like this. And it loops around to this side. Now let's go to the other side. So it just goes straight from the blade pulley on that side to this one. Wrap all the way around it. And 
can see this is what I was referring to the blade work. So now I'm going to engage the blade. That way you got plenty of room to feed this through. I'll go around just like that. Now I'm just going to try to bend this one out as well. This bracket right here. And uh, just bend it out the same way and don't forget to bend these back or your belt will keep coming off okay got the belt through there end up kind of prying on it the bracket and feeding the belt through there so it goes around this pulley shoots over to that one comes around it the back of the belt runs on that side so now you're left with a little loop in the middle which goes on the engine pulley so for this you just feed this through here, kind of bend this belt guard down just a hair, like that. Now I got the blades engaged, let me disengage it. Now it's pretty much just going to fall into place. You may have to kind of spin the motor just a hair, so that's pretty much it. I don't know how well you can see it. Now let me engage it and we'll see what it looks like if it's engaged. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. So it's just a straight shot on the back. You want to check your tension. With this type of setup on this it's not going to be super strong. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the belt guards back on and I'll draw you guys a diagram here to look at. Okay, now we get the belt guards put back on. Now I'm going to bend that one bracket back. You don't want to forget about that or your belt will keep popping off. You don't want the belt coming off because it can cause damage to it. Okay, so this is going to be the front pulley of the engine. This is going to be the blade on the chute side. This is the blade on the closed inside. You have a pulley here and a pulley here. This pulley here is the tensioner pulley. This one's the idler pulley that is stationary, doesn't move. This is the one that comes in and puts tension on the belt. Now let's draw the belt. So the belt comes in on this side, like this, around this pulley around this pulley, comes straight over to this blade pulley, goes around it, comes around the outer pulley, and it goes back around the engine pulley. Like I said, this pulley here is the one that comes in and moves, and this one is stationary. So that's uh, pretty much how it's set up. Hope you guys like the new chalkboard. I just uh, picked it up off of Amazon. Uh, just wanted something different because a lot of times I need to be able to draw and stuff on here. Well, it's working guys. You always want to engage it and disengage it a couple of times just to make sure it's not going to come off or you know something else is going to break. And after you run it for a little bit, you want to inspect the belt for any signs of wear or something because that could be the, a bent pulley or something causing the belt to wear early. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope this helps you. And like I said, this will cover several several different models and actually different brands of motors. A lot of them are going to be very similar to this. Your three blade decks will be a little bit different than this, but it'll still be similar. And lawnmowers will either have a sticker somewhere on the deck showing the routing of the belt, or your book will always show it. So you always want to look at that. Well, guys, if you got any questions, comments, or suggestions for similar videos like this, I usually only make a video like this when something like this breaks, because I don't like messing with the belts unless I have to. It's always a hassle. So, uh, well guys, you got any, like I said, if you got any questions or comments or anything, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.